All right, are you guys ready to start creating something? Because in this class's project, we're going to grab a standard die, sketch out its general shape, extract and record its dimensions, draw that in 2D AutoCAD, and then convert that 2D drawing into a 3D model. In this video, we're going to get a start on this process by hand drafting this dice to use as reference when we get into AutoCAD. All you're going to need for this step is a dice, a pencil or pen, a ruler, tape measure, or a straight edge of some sort, some paper, and a hard surface to write on. If you don't have any of these supplies, don't worry, I'll upload my drawing at the end of the class, and you can use it when we get into 2D AutoCAD. However, I prefer you didn't skip this step because I think it's useful in your training. So let's get over to the desk now and get this started. Observation is the skill you need to develop as a 3D modeler. Start looking closely at everything you pick up throughout the day. Train your mind to focus on the details and the defining geometry. As a 3D modeler, it is your job to imagine and model things both inside and out. We're going to draw out the six sides of the dice in an orthographic drawing. An orthographic drawing is a representation of a three-dimensional object using several two-dimensional views of the object. This is also known as an orthographic projection. To lay out the four sides in one straight line, and add the top and bottom planes somewhere along that line. Leave some space between them for the dimensions. Remember, this really only needs to be a loose sketch of the dice. Now we'll sketch the pips on each side as they are actually cut into the dice you are holding. Try to make sure that the pips will relate to each other as they do in real life. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. You can draw this dice as if it were two inches tall or half inch tall, whatever you prefer. I'd say the bigger the better. We'll dimension it correctly so the scale of your sketch is irrelevant. Now that you have a sketch on paper, let's add some dimensions. Using your ruler, note the height, width, and depth of the dice. Mark those dimensions on your sketch. Now take a look at the pips. Let's look at the one in the middle. It's 5 sixteenths to the center from the top and from the bottom. It's about 1 eighth of an inch in diameter, and judging by eye, it's maybe 1 sixteenth to one eighth of an inch deep at the center. Let's mark that on the drawing. Move on to the two and then to the five and that should be enough information to lay out all of the pips on the dice once we get into AutoCAD. Lastly, we'll draw a quick isometric view to highlight any data not shown in the orthographics, such as the filleted edges, which have a radius of approximately one thirty-second of an inch. Let's mark that on the drawing. All right, that's about it. We've got a reference drawing to use while 2D drafting in AutoCAD, and in the next video that is exactly what we're going to do. If you have any questions about this process, feel free to leave a comment and I'll reply as soon as I can. When you get your sketch finished, you should take a picture of it, or scan it, and upload it to the class project gallery so I can check it out. I'd love to see what everyone's take on this classic dice is. It's one simple thing, everybody's seen it before, but everyone's sketch is going to be different. Some are going to be artistic, some are going to be technical. I'm pretty excited to see what you guys come up with. 